Now, in 10th standard, you have learned that a current carrying conductor produces a magnetic field around it. Now, this was the uh, qualitative study and it was proposed by uh, Christian Oersted. Now, two French physicists, Jean Baptiste Poyot and Felix Savard, Jean Baptiste Poyot and Felix uh, Savard, two French physicists, later all quantified that how much field or how much uh, magnetic field will be produced by a wire and we call it biot savart's law so biot savart's law uh, biot savart two french physicist biot savart's law so oersted proposed that every current Current conductor will produce magnetic field and Bayer Sebers quantified that. How much magnetic field that current will produce that was given by Bayer Sebers. Now, uh, today, uh, this time you will uh, learn a term current element. Uh, what is current element? If this be a wire of uh, randomly chosen shape. And if I current is passing through, I current is coming and it is where is not limited to here, it has some extension. Uh, I don't have, uh, I need not bother about the extension of the wire. What Biot Savat produced, uh, proposed that if current is passing through a wire <coughs> and if we consider any uh, length. Uh, uh, of very small size del L very small del L so the product of I and del L product of I and del L will term as current element so and for this element for this much length and this del L length is very small and for this length the magnetic field that a point randomly chosen point P that will observe when this current passes through this del L that's given by Bayard Sabers and that magnetic field so since this uh, current element is uh, this element is very small and current element is your i del l so magnetic field produced will be also very small so your db magnetic field and b stands for magnetic field and db is directly proportional to the current element that means if i is increased db will increase uh, del B is also directly proportional to sin theta. Now, what is sin theta? If you join here, I need to find uh, magnetic field due to this uh, element, del L, small element. Uh, so, what is sin theta? So, we have to join this element since this is very small. You cannot imagine how small it is. Hmm. It is even uh, thinner than the thickness of your uh, copy or uh, paper of uh, your bo book, page of your book. Uh, it is even smaller. And now we find to th uh, we need to find theta. So you have to join that element with P, and you draw a tangent here. Since this direction is current is passing, so this is the direction of the current element. And this, if this length is R, 
uh, this is r vector and this is the angle theta this is angle your theta and this angle is your theta so what is theta current element joined with that point and we are finding magnetic field here this point and this magnetic field is also directly proportional to sine of theta our word theta is the angle between the current element and the displacement vector a dv is directly proportional to sin theta and inversely proportional to square of distance inversely proportional to square of distance and combining all these three what we get uh, db is directly proportional to i del l sin theta divided by r square i del l sin theta divided by r square now if we remove this uh, uh, proportionality sign we have to multiply with some constant so db is equal to some constant and the constant is mu naught by 4 pi and why mu naught by 4 pi uh, you, this constant even changes if the where and this point where I need to find magnetic field is in space or in vacuum or in air then we put mu naught by 4 pi and if the same thing or same experiment is done inside um, a water tank or inside an alcohol tank or something else in, in some other medium then this constant will change then this constant will change and this constant is for only if the space between this point and this current element is filled with air or vacuum so if this space is uh, vacuum then we use mu naught by 4 pi and this is equal to i naught um, del v is equal to mu naught by 4 pi i naught i del l uh, sin theta divided by r square and if this uh, space is uh, vacuum then mu naught by, by 4 pi has a fixed value del v is equal to uh, 10 to the power minus 7 into i del l into sin theta divided by r square and mu naught has a unit mu naught has a unit it is called permeability of vacuum it is called permeability of vacuum and mu naught has unit so unit of mu naught is you should remember a tesla meter per ampere so sometimes this is also asked so this is the unit of mu naught that is tesla meter per ampere so this is your power saver slow and using power saver slow uh, in next video we will uh, discuss so many uh, other things uh, we will use this and you must remember all this derivation so that uh, in future when we solve problems related to bias servers or some derivations uh, it becomes um, easier to you so memorize this thing or understand this thing and be ready to use all this derivation you will use this result so this result we will use frequently so this must be uh, prepared very uh, honestly okay so meeting in the next video where we will use bias servers law in different uh, cases different situations very important for your course